Sometimes, in order to get the right shot, you may need to rotate your camera. When you do take photos with your camera rotated, what you'll end up with is some photos that are landscape and some photos that are looking portrait. But in actual fact, these two images need to look like their landscape as well, because you can see the content of the image just doesn't preview properly. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to rotate your images. Now, first of all, we need to select an image in order to rotate it. Now to rotate the image, we can come up to the options bar at the top here. We've got the option here to rotate right, or we can rotate left. Now this image needs to be rotated right, so I'm gonna click on that. Photoshop Elements will take a second just to do that. And what's happened is that file is now completely landscaped from this point on. I need to do the same for this image here, but what I'm gonna show you is a couple of other ways that we can access the same feature. You can right click on this image and you'll notice up the top here in the contextual menu, we have rotate left by 90 degrees and rotate right by 90 degrees. Also, if we come across to the edit menu, you can see we have rotate left by 90 degrees and rotate 90 degrees right. So if I click that, it'll do exactly the same thing. You'll also note if I come back up to the edit menu and come and hover over rotate 90 degrees left, you can see the keyboard shortcut, control and left arrow. And if we want to rotate to the right, it's control and right arrow. I'd recommend you really remember these keyboard shortcuts because they are really handy, especially when you load in maybe 100 photos at a time. It's really easy to be able to go through and just apply a keyboard shortcut rather than worrying about going to find a menu or clicking on a button up in the tool options bar.